Hi, Dawn Stenzel-Menti, live here on The Dawn Show. You know, they say there's no such thing as the fountain of youth, but I think I've discovered something that comes pretty darn close. It's not a fad or a gimmick I'm talking about here. This is an elite extensive program with a doctor, and not just any doctor. Let's welcome to the show Dr. Raymond Ishman, pride of Jefferson. So good to have you here. Thank you, Don. It's good to be here. Now, I know that for, for decades you were in family medicine and uh, most importantly, emergency room um, medicine. And you actually told me that you, you got sick and tired of putting out fires, you wanted to prevent fires. Um, tell me about that. What motivated you to get involved in Senogenics, a program that would, that would just prevent all the health problems we see? Well, as you said, Don, I, in working in emergency medicine, you're really just putting out fires, people coming in with heart attacks, strokes, uh, and so forth. And uh, I wanted to get involved in something that would, would really try to help prevent that. I, I got involved with Cynogenics actually through my wife. Um, my wife had had a hysterectomy and uh, had and been there on. she is, there's Fran and your, your little tiny dog, Nana. Yes, <laughs> Nana, yes, she's a, a sweetheart in Newfoundland. And uh, she always wins the lap dog competitions. Yes, the, your the, wife Fran's the best only. lap dog over 60 pounds. <laughs> and so what happened with Fran? She was going through a, a hysterectomy and you, you were concerned. Correct, she had uh, hysterectomy and at the time she was put on Premarin, hormones at the time. And that was right around the time when you heard all the uh, concern about hormones being bad for women and causing cancer. So I started doing my own homework just to try and find out what the real story was. And I found out that it was a lot more complicated. It wasn't just as simple as good or bad. And that's when I came across Cenogenics. And before we show your before and after pictures and your personal story, what is Cenogenics? I mean, what is that? Cenogenics is really a wellness program. What we're looking to do is, is to, to keep people healthy, get them healthy, and try to identify their risk factors for various diseases well ahead of them developing that. We want to, to uh, keep them at the lowest possible risk for things like heart disease, cancer, stroke, uh, osteoporosis, and so forth. Um, the, we also want them to feel better, look better, sleep better, and, and even have better sex lives. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the good part, right? I'll, I'll, and I'll tell you about my personal connection to this in a minute, but we want to show Dr. Richman's uh, before and after pictures because you became first a client when you found this uh, through your wife, Fran. But I mean, look at this trend. You're looking good, doctor. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm, I'm as amazed as anyone that that's actually happened to me. Um, uh, I uh, was not an athlete as a kid, and uh, so for me to, to be able to be, do that, uh, again, I'm as amazed as anyone. Well, the fun, the fun part is, and as I alluded to, I have a personal connection to Cenogenics because uh, my husband, Larry Menti, actually three months ago de decided to become Dr. Ishman's patient. That's why we're talking about it today. His amazing story, his transformation, when our conversation continues right here on Dawn. You're watching The Dawn Show live right here on WMCN-TV, talking with Dr. Raymond Ishman with Cenogenics and welcoming my husband, Larry Menti. Hi, Lair. Hey, congratulations on the first live show. Thank you. Yeah, it's and, good to be here. Yeah, so officially I'd be the second guest. <laughs> Aww. I, I came in. But you're the topic. It's all about you, Lair. Oh, good. That's the way I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, um, so Larry became, you know, you became a patient mm -hmm. uh, three months ago. And why did you want to join the program? I mean, why... Uh, that's, a, that's a great question because when we talked, you, you told me a lot of people get involved for medical reasons or, or because they want their sex life improved that you somehow got excited, <laughs> got excited about a second ago. And, uh, but, but look, I have two, we have two young boys. We have a, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old. And, and it was important for me as an older dad to make certain that not only was I around for them, but that, you know, it wasn't like they just showed up at the nursing home to play catch with me, that I, <laughs> that I could actually go out and have a great quality of life with them and be active in their lives. And, and I'll tell you what, so far it's been great. Yeah, well, it's been really good. It's like oh, a 20-year-old. <laughs> don't leave, don't leave. I'm, I meant on the bike. I meant on the exercise bike, right? Well, speaking of the exercise bike, it, and that's the thing you don't realize, this is an extensive program. So when you started out, you actually um, went and spent a whole day with Dr. Ishman. What is this test right here that he's taking? This is called a VO2 max. And during this test, we're doing two things. We're trying to find out what someone's 
level of aerobic fitness is. Uh, it's a measure of cardiovascular health. The other thing we're trying to determine is what are their true training zones so that we can put together an exercise program that's efficient in terms of burning fat as well as being heart healthy, but also to be able to do it in the least amount of time. We all have busy lives and we don't have a lot of time to spend an hour a day on the treadmill. Who has that kind of time? You want it to be efficient. Okay, and let's take a look at, there were actually three tests that we want to show, but the second one, uh, you're scanning, it looks like you're scanning his neck. What are you doing there when you're taking that test? That's a specialized carotid ulcer. Oh wait, this is oh, the body scan. One. This is the uh, full body scan, so what oh, are you look doing at that. here? Look at that, man, that's a beached whale. <laughs> wow, what a horrible shot that is. Can we get rid of that right now? <laughs> no, don't get rid of it. <laughs> Thank you. That's our before picture, actually. That'll serve <laughs> as our good before, before picture. picture. That was three right. months ago. There are two things that that machine does. One is measure bone density. Of course. We're all familiar with women having low bone density or have being at risk for low, having low bone density, but what most people don't realize is that a lot of men have low bone density as well. The other thing that test measures is body composition. So we can very accurately determine your, your, your lean mass, your fat mass, as well as where it is, uh, uh, what region of the body, the belly, the arms, the legs, and so forth. And it's the belly fat that it correlates with your disease risk in terms of heart disease, stroke, uh, et cetera, diabetes. Okay, and then when the they tested me, yeah, when they tested me, Dr. Ishmael may not remember this, but he said to me, and I'll tell, I'll say what my BMI was. My BMI was the body mass index was was thirty four point five or thirty five, right, at, right at the borderline of being obese, and he, and then because my my muscle to fat was so bad. You said, <laughs> normally we see this ratio in people that are about to be disabled. <laughs> Do you remember saying that? I didn't quite say it like that. It was <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that the test, can, the machine can do is tell you, your, it's called the relative skeletal yeah. muscle index. And that is, what that is, is do we have enough muscle for our frame? And studies have shown that if that, that ratio is below a certain point, we are at increased risk for physical disability. We know as we get older, people get weak. It, it's sort of a, a measure of frailty, if you will. Not wow. that you're frail. Yeah, I, that you're I, frail. I, I felt like a, a fat Urkel <laughs> <laughs> when I was there. But, and can, I, can I say one thing? I go into all of these things skeptical, uh, maybe cynical. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I've heard so many things that are uh, that have false promises. I have been inc absolutely amazed. We can you can forget. Dr. Ishman can tell you about all the equipment, and he can tell you about uh, you know the, the medical results. I can tell you how I feel, and not only have I lost 21 pounds, but my knees don't hurt anymore. My cholesterol has been cut in half. The mental acuity, I used to search for words. I don't search for words. I have more energy. That's, the, that's what's amazing to me. That's three months. Yeah, which is You know, think amazing. of what it's going to be started. like in a year. Yeah, we're just getting started. Think what it's going to be like in a year. I mean, I, I, I don't have the before and after picture he has <laughs> yet. But, but my before and after is still substantial after three months. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's amazing. Let's just show the third test that you did, just okay. to, just because to, I want to explain that this was a full day of testing, pretty extensive. What's going on here? We're looking at the carotid arteries. Now, most doctors order this test to see if you have blockages that need to be cleaned out. We're hoping to catch people 20 years before that happens. We're looking to see if you have any plaque in your carotid arteries, which is some hardening of the arteries, or if you have a thick vessel wall. Because if you do, then you're at an increased risk for cardiovascular disease, heart attack, and stroke. The carotid arteries are a mirror to other arteries in the body, particularly the coronaries. And we want to be able to know what your real risk is so that we can get you on a program early on to prevent heart attacks and strokes. This is pretty amazing in that the, the, I was there a full day for my first physical, a full day with all of these tests. Before that, you took six vials of blood. Yeah, a nurse to comes test. to your house, came to our house, and, and took the, all that blood so they could test the blood. Let's so, have Dr. Ishman just give the results, though. Okay. Can we have you say the results of the cholesterol, overall, the change in the, the um, fat, and all that? Well, as, as Larry said, his cholesterol dropped by 50% and we actually reduced your cholesterol. You had been on some cholesterol medicine. We would cut that in half, I believe, for starters. Uh, his body fat percentage went from 35 to 31% in just that short period of time. And that's, I'm sure that's going to be much better. Our goal is generally for it to be down below 20% for men. That's the healthy range. That's amazing. 
and 21 pounds in three months. But too. what he's saying is extremely important. This isn't just a program where they give you something and say, okay, go do it, good luck. There is a constant maintenance. I mean, I had, I've had now two blood works. I told you about the first one. Six weeks later, I did it again. And then I got a phone call from Dr. Ishman who said, okay, I'm looking at your uh, blood results. Let's lower this medicine. I want to increase this medicine. So what he's like is like a sound mixer. You know, keeping your levels, <laughs> keeping your levels always flight, at the right. right at the right spot. So it's not just uh, here's your medicine, go take it, like most doctors do. This is it is a constant maintenance program and constantly checking up on you to make sure that you're always staying healthy. Okay, listen, we're gonna we're gonna hold this thought right here when our conversation continues. We're gonna talk more about home, hormone replacement therapy, testosterone, a lot of your questions. So we're gonna answer. We're gonna try to answer some of your questions. And you'll be amazed by uh, some of the myths of weight loss and hormones here on Dawn. Welcome back to The Dawn Show. Dr. Ishman and my husband, Larry Menti. We're talking about Senogenics. Doesn't Larry look good just in time for swimsuit season in the Jersey Shore? <laughs> You're going to kill me. I finally know. can get in that bikini. I've always <laughs> wanted to get into <laughs> <laughs> the tankini. That I got to see a picture. Of. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of myths um, about uh, weight loss, hormone therapy, and these are actually your myths that that you had given to me, and I love this list. So let's go through them. It's a top ten list of okay. the myths. So the first one is um, cardio is better than weights. Just forget about the weights. Do cardio. Uh, that's right. That's that's definitely a myth. When you uh, if you want to lose weight, a lot of people just think cardio, cardio, cardio. But most of the time, they're not really burning that many calories when they're doing their cardio. If you uh, do strength training and keep your muscle mass up, you'll burn more energy just sitting at your desk and doing the things that you normally do. So uh, when people lose a lot of weight and don't do any weight training, they tend to lose a lot of muscle mass as well. And number two is eating lots of whole grains is really good for you. Huge myth. Uh, whole grain, people are on the whole grain fad. And so they're increasing their carbohydrate intake. And these whole grains, today the wheat is very different than it used to be, and that's really increasing their carbohydrate intake, their insulin levels, which actually stores fat. Which is scary. Uh, number three is HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy, causes cancer in women, blood clots and all kinds of problems. Well, that depends on what hormones are used and how they're delivered. Uh, the Women's Health Initiative that came out in 2000 Two that scared the heck out of all of us. Right, right. That was with Premarin and Prempro. Premarin comes from pregnant mare's urine, horse urine. Okay, so and, uh, uh, horse pee is bad, so right, there you go. Right, and the uh, <laughs> progestin was a synthetic progestin, and yes, it did increase the risk of breast cancer and blood clots, but when given properly using bioidentical hormones, uh, that's just not the case. Testosterone um, given to men causes prostate cancer. Once again, wrong. Um, that was the old thought. That's what I was taught when I was in medical school and for years later. But multiple scientific studies have proven that it's just simply not the case, although a lot of doctors still believe that. And uh, what's the next one about uh, normal blood tests? Normal blood tests are fine? Well, normal blood tests, uh, the normal ranges for many lab tests are very, very wide. And they're simply designed to include 95% of everybody. So, for example, the normal range for, say, testosterone in men is 250 to 1100. That's quite a range. And it makes a big difference in terms of your health, let alone how you feel, whether you're at the lower end of that range or at the upper end of that range. And they're both normal. You really focus, oh, go ahead. Mine Dan. was, when I was tested, was in the 600s, which, which was not bad. You said it was a little low, but it wasn't bad. And then uh, Dr. Ishman told me, uh, let's get it up to about 1,000. Okay. And, and you the, take a shot every month. Uh, yeah, I take it. I actually give myself an injection, which I was freaked out week. about it. Which I wanted to do, but every you week, wouldn't let me. Every week. Oh, every week. Uh, yeah, you, uh, <laughs> you were angry at the time. Um, and, Come but, over here, let me stick But it's needle. not that bad. I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I'm afraid of needles, and I... And I I didn't like the idea, but it's not that bad. But I, I, what I wanted to tell you was just from that level from 600 to 1,000 is an amazing difference. The, the feeling you have is incredible. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> the feeling you have from going to 600 to 1,000 <laughs> is amazing. Do the myths. <laughs> I'm sorry I said anything. Yeehaw. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Come on. You knew I was going to go there, right? 
Okay, so uh, osteoporosis um, is just a women's problem. Next well, as minute. I alluded to earlier, uh, uh, a lot of men have <laughs> low bone density. Some have overt osteoporosis, but many have osteopenia, which is on the way to osteoporosis. And they're not even screened for it, even after they break a bone, that they're generally not even screened for it because we just don't think of it as a man's problem. And read labels for sugar content. This is a big one. Correct. Uh, we look at labels and we look at the sugar, and sometimes the sugar content is relatively low, so we think it's good but the car total carbohydrates are often very high. And these carbohydrates tend to behave just like sugar. So you should really consider all carbohydrates to be sugar on a label. Oh, that's so if interesting. If you're trying to lose weight, especially. And a lot of people think walking, just walking every day is the best exercise. Well, uh, walking is better than nothing, if that's all, and it's okay if it's all you can do. But it does not, you need to stress the system if you want to increase the capacity of the system. So you have to actually put a little effort to it if you want to condition your heart, and actually if you want to burn more fat. I don't want to steal your line, but you have a great line about how to do the exercise that you should run in spurts and, and not run distance. Correct. It's called interval training. And so you, you, you go basically go, you go faster and you go slower. You go faster and you go slower. Because? <laughs> because it's the, well, it, it's a great line. I just want him to say it. That's the only reason I'm <laughs> proud that you sure along. It, the, right. the line was that we, it, in, in the well, days we, of okay. uh, cavemen. Cave yeah, go ahead. Well, well, when we were cavemen and, and we had to run like heck to get our food or run like heck to not be food. Okay. <laughs> And we didn't have to do That's it for awesome. a long time. We just had to run fast. Well, speaking of food, uh, another myth is that red meat is bad for you. Red meat in and of itself is not necessarily bad for you. It's processed meats that are the real problem. Uh, processed meats include smoking, uh, salting, and various uh, addition of uh, various chemicals. But, for example, steaks and hamburger per se are not necessarily bad. And uh, the last myth is eggs are bad for you, bad for the cholesterol. Eggs are not bad, not even the egg yolks. Uh, studies recently have confirmed that when you even leave the yolks in, that you can have greater improvements in blood sugars, in good cholesterol, and bad cholesterol. So that, that's a myth that, that, that uh, has been broken. You know, one thing that was interesting was that when Larry first said he was going to take testosterone shots, and I thought, oh, does that affect his mood? But on the contrary, it, it, like even the keel or even more it was Because amazing. people mix it up with steroids. Okay. And that, think of see, the people whole think right away, oh, you're taking testosterone, that's like taking steroids because, because baseball players and athletes juice up with testosterone. But you, you told me early on that their levels are five, six times the normal that they take. You're just getting up to a high normal level. And actually, my mood has evened out. Yeah. I don't get as angry. And so it's exactly the opposite effect. When you feel better, right? you know, you're going to have a more even keel. Yeah, absolutely. So does, do, do people say this to you, the, the wives, you know, think, oh, oh boy, the sex life is good. I mean, is that the first thing you get? I imagine like, this you is really have a one track mind. Is I it an amazing one track mind? <laughs> no, you usually hear that more from the men. The, the, oh, okay. <laughs> up front. The, the women might be thinking it, but they're not they're not They're admitting. not like me, they're not, they're not a big not, mouth. Right, they're not they're not <laughs> saying it, but they're uh, yeah, they're not uh, the men are more concerned about that. So a lot of people might say, well, is this a program just for for men? I mean, you had this is Cenogenics is for women too, right? Absolutely. We take care of women as well, uh, and it's just that we have more men than women in the program. And uh, a lot of women don't come because they're afraid of hormones because of that study that came out. And they don't really understand the difference. Sometimes when you speak with women and, and you mention the word hormones, they kind of close their ears. Because and, of that one bad study right. you mentioned years ago. Does it have the same effect for women? Yes, it does. Uh, although it's a little harder. Women that have a problem with their weight uh, have to be honest that it's a little harder for them to get the weight off than it is for men. As I always say, men are simple. Just give us a remote control, you know, and we're, we're good. But uh, if, men, if men eat a little better and do a little bit of exercise and we do our job in getting their metabolism and their hormones straightened out, it's a no-brainer. Women take a little more. They, they have to work a little harder, to be honest with you. They have, and we have to, to get things more fine-tuned for okay. women, especially the thyroid. Uh, yes, that's a big one. We have a question from uh, one of our viewers who wants to know, are you ever too old to start the program? Uh, I guess if you're 120. I suppose <laughs> so, but, but we have people, you know, in their, in their 80s uh, that are, are fine. Uh, I think if someone is already in an extremely bad state of health, it's probably not going to fix them, but uh, I don't know that age per se is a uh, uh, limiting factor. 
And how long do you have to be on the therapy? Well, generally, most people stay with us long term unless unless they, for some reason, have to withdraw from the program. They uh, because the hormones once as you they decline with age, and once we correct them, if you stop doing it, they're going to fall back to where they were. So. That, that's that's what's going to happen if you stop the program. So if people come into the program, it's just, in essence, they're battling the aging process. That's correct. Which is pretty amazing. And, and I'm convinced. I'm absolutely convinced I'm going to live longer because of this. Yeah. Well, we don't have 30 years worth of data to say that you're going to live longer, but if we are lowering your cholesterol, lowering your blood pressure, lowering your various risk factors for heart disease, stroke, cancer, osteoporosis, it stands to reason that you'll probably live longer unless you get run over by a truck or something like that. Right. On that thought, we're going to talk a little bit more about your long-term effects when we come right back when our conversation continues here on Dawn. And welcome back to The Dawn Show, live talking to Dr. Raymond Ishman of Senogenics and my good-looking husband, Larry Menti, <laughs> who's lost 21 pounds. Seriously, congratulations. I mean, this is one of my themes, as you know, health, fitness, feeling good, looking good. Uh, so I'm proud of you, Larry. That, oh, that's, that's hard to lose 21 pounds in three months. And we were talking during the break of all the things that we listed that have been a benefit uh, since I started just three months ago, you noticed my skin's better. So, I mean, that yeah. was something we didn't even think about that is just a side benefit. Everything, everything has been better. Good. Yeah. Larry pointed out I did say yeehaw on the show. Sorry. Yeah, you said yeehaw in talking about sex. So it was, <laughs> you know, it was, it was like a perverted Annie Oakley. <laughs> I wanted to say giddy up. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> we didn't say giddy up. Well, listen, thank Got you. <laughs> I know. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being here, and thank you, because I feel like you, you did add years to my husband's life. So thank you, Dr. Ishman. And thank and you we'll, for having me. And we'll follow along, see how Larry's doing. Uh, this is only three months, so we'll keep, keep following up. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, that's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow live right here on Dawn. I hope you visit me uh, on Facebook on Dawn and us here at WMCN. I hope you have a great day. Keep it healthy and keep it good. Have a good one, everybody.